You know, there's only one thing I like more than Kanye album news, and that's a nice fat pile of leaks all at once in a form that some would call a giga leak. Now, this is not anywhere near the previous giga leak in size, with the original one being 51 gigabytes and this one being only 3 gigabytes, but I would honestly say the quality and variety of stuff we got is easily on par with the previous one. And depending on your Kanye preference, you may find the stuff in this mini Giga Leak a lot more intriguing because it focused on some different Kanye eras. We got a fuck ton of Yandi, a bunch of unheard 2021 Donda stuff, and it all sounds super cool. So let's go through all the best stuff that came out in this 3 gigabyte pack of leaks. Okay, we'll start with all the Yandi stuff and then move forward from there, ending with the Donda and Donda 2 stuff. First up is the original vocal take Kanye recorded for Hurricane. Yes, the exact take and beat that supposedly inspired him to to create Yandi done on September 1st, 2018. This is what would turn into the hook on later versions of Hurricane, and it's the beat in its earliest form produced by Nascent and Boogs. I can't float on the bottom, bother hold me close, don't let me down, I know you won't, won't let me down, never from job. I can't do something moving, moving my bone. All in the Next, we've got Chop 7, a rough freestyle from Kanye and Chance done on August 28th, 2018, and this one was intended for their collab album, Good Ass Job, that would eventually be scrapped. Continuing on with the good ass job leaks, we also got the full version of the Michael Jackson sample chop beat that is in the infamous snippet of Kanye and Chance dancing in the studio while working on their album. It's unclear if either of them ever recorded over this beat, but it seems it was developed with full drums, and this is the version that Khans played on an IG livestream a while back. I'm gonna throw this one in with the Yandi stuff cause I don't think we actually know exactly when it was done, but this is a freestyle Kanye and Aunt Clemens recorded sometime in 2018 over a Ronnie J produced beat that sounds actually really nice for a rough freestyle. Moving on into 2019 now, we've got a version of the song Take Me to the Light worked on by Francis and the Lights and Kanye. This particular version of the song was titled Meta World Peace at this point and was made on January 28th, 2019. Francis would originally release the track in August of 2019, so this is well before that, as evidenced by some extreme changes. There's totally different drums, and Francis does a lot more vocals on this version than he does on later ones. Additionally, Aunt Clemens has vocals as well, and this is just all around an awesome version of Take Me to the Light. After that is a Jesus is King version of Hurricane made on September 9th, 2019. The song sports Ronnie J drums along with only Kanye vocals in the form of his vocoded hook and the original Wave Runner verse. I chose not to be a slave. 
Drop the wave runners, now we run away. Like we ain't had all the hood rats and mud rats. Then on November 12th, 2019, we have Kanye freestyling over Dr. Dre's remix of the Use This Gospel beat. This was likely intended for Jesus Is King 2, the Dr. Dre remix of the original Jesus Is King, but Kanye never ended up re-recording or finishing his vocals, probably because he got Eminem to record a feature verse, and thus the song might have been too crowded. This one is cool and just makes you think of how good Dr. Dre Use This Gospel could have been if Kanye had recorded a finished verse. On the left up, on the dog they rap for Use the tools of Mr. Bula Gula, and that's a new look That's a thought, the new look Papa saw the new book Not the saw the you look Papa wrote the root book Then they none of you book Use this gospel for protection then we've got a different reference Sci High recorded for 12,000 Acres done on November 21st, 2019. I suppose this means that Sci High recorded two separate reference tracks for the song, and this one is entirely different to the one we already had slash knew about, and it sounds pretty fire to be honest. Yeah, since I put my feet on the Ottoman, work around the clock, like the hour hand. I love California, I need oxygen, I'm the fashion industry, Jackie Robinson. Where the olive branch? I'm a martyr man. Build the temple up like I'm Solomon. Better what I was saying. Now, moving into 2020 stuff that leaked, we start off with Casey's full original reference track he did for In God's Country on January 24th, 2020, which at the time was just titled Work It Out, referencing the sample the beat was based around. Oh my God. Oh my God. After that is probably the most interesting song to leak in this entire pack with the sequel to Closed on Sunday. It seems in February of 2020, Kanye got the idea to do a follow-up to the Jesus is King song with a new track titled Open on Monday. This one features rough vocals from Kanye and reference vocals from Casey made on February 3rd, 2020, and I think it's hilarious Kanye made this and seriously titled it Open on Monday. I drive different, it's a new like Yeah, guys work by soul dates Quiet sounding bigger than soul train No worries, truly a blessing Blessings in any season November rain November rain November rain November. Also on the third, Casey recorded his reference vocals for I Feel Terrific, and I've said it before countless times with I Feel Terrific, but this beat had so much potential, and the fact that Kanye had so many reference vocals to work with, it's ridiculous he kept using his original shitty vocal take on future versions of the song. I own it, my face still hold on to God. Hold on. Little out of mind. Yeah. They can't stop the shine. Can't. All these lights they own. Oh. Let there be light. Hey. Learn to value my time. my time. And that changed my life. Structure all my life. Yeah. Text, I don't reply. Don't. I feel terrific. Yeah, yeah. I got the moves. Moving forward, we've got a rough freestyle Kanye did on May 5th, 2020, titled Run Home, while after that is Casey's full off-the-grid reference he did on May 20th. Run Home is cool, but Casey off-the-grid just goes super hard, and it's really interesting to get insight into off-the-grid at this early stage in its development. <laughs> Some people said it straight, huh? Some people learned it late, huh? Some people can't relate, huh? Got a song going late, huh? Got a song with your main, huh? Tell us something to hate, huh? You were feeling nine months. I can't be my late, huh? Got a song. Off the grid, off the grid. 
After that is Follow the Light, produced by Boogs and FNZ, with Kanye and Aunt Clemens' vocals. This was originally created back during Yandi era, but was brought forward and worked on for a potential release on early copies of Donda, and while this one doesn't have a specific date, I'm pretty sure this was done in July of 2020. Light right away, turn stump on, gonna come right away. Put stun stump on for a brighter day. Let's done love, listen up for the break. That wraps up all the 2020 stuff, so let's proceed into 2021, jumping all the way up to April of that year. It seems on April 26th, Kanye put in a fuck ton of work recording rough gallery freestyles for Donda, as we got a bunch of stuff specifically from this day. A couple notable things are a version of Shada or Hear Me Clearly, with rough vocals from Kanye and some presence from Pusha T. This is likely before Kanye gave the song to Pusha, judging by how much Kanye is present on the track. And and on this day, Kanye recorded a freestyle titled Red Dead Range over a beat produced by Boogs. Just under a month later, on May 21st, 2021, both Kanye and Don Tolliver recorded rough vocals over a Boogs produced beat that I don't think we have a title for. Following that, we move into the summer of 2021, and we finally got the CD quality version of Pure Souls that was played at the first Donda listening party in Atlanta, with the original piano beat accompanied by both Kanye and Roddy Rich vocals. I feel like this one needs no further explaining. It's far and away the best version of Pure Souls, and that is not up for debate. That's why a lot of these niggas be faking, huh? Made it through the trials and tribulations, huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. What? Well, here it goes. Well, here it goes. Well, here it goes. Well, here it goes. I was one of them weirdos of the pure soul. Next, we've got Believe What I Say, made sometime in August, with Kanye throwing producer AOAA on the song, having him do unique drums that are mixed really fucking loud for some reason, and this specific version of the song was seen on an August 23rd copy of Donda just two days before the third and final listening party. I'll drag you down. Who knows when was the last time you felt the love? After the 2021 stuff, we can finally jump into 2022, starting with a super cool version of Dem Joints' We Did It Kid, with a much heavier focus on deep bass horns. This has production from both Dem and OG Volta, so it's no surprise that with those two producing powerhouses, they cooked up something as crazy as this. We here! Ladies and gentlemen, but this one is different. One in and been, taking a minute and pumped the adrenaline. We own it again. I can just hold it in. Pumped the adrenaline. One in and been, I can just hold it in. But this one is different. All that shit niggas done said about me, I'll be dead. Next, we've got a version of Pablo with special unique production from Beach House, and this is just classic Beach House at work. Their additions make the song feel so much more haunting. I absolutely love it. Definitely go listen to this full thing. Satan himself is back in town. Pick me up before I drown. Then I know you ain't, you ain't throwing up like who ain't. 
Doing up, eh, who ain't? Doing up, mm, you can't. And finally, the last thing that leaked that I can accurately date is actually very recent, having been made just under a year ago on October 11th, 2022. This is a Ty Dolla Sign and Kanye collab song with OG Volta production. We know it's Ty and Kanye from the file name, but there aren't actually any Kanye vocals on this thing, so it's probably pre Ty's involvement. Bitch, we not exclusive. Lee a fat friend, I am not inclusive. Bumper know some new shit. <laughs> Bumper's just the music. Women in the cool it. Dumpers like it's cool it. Okay, one last one before we're done. This one I don't believe has a title nor a date, but it's Kanye freestyling over a super spooky beat. Like, Loki might be one of the spookiest beats I've heard him rap over. And that dude has like a whole catalog of Halloween esque songs he worked on for early Donda. I'm gonna wanna wait up, wait up. I've been pulling falls to pulling fall time shifts, pulling all sides, this song's not song just to get a grip. I can't get a grip, I can't get a handle. I don't start with a dandle, bit too much soon ain't handle. Basketball will be a vandal, song stomp on a man. These couldn't hold a candle. Well, there you have it. Basically everything good from this new mini Giga leak. While this definitely wasn't as much stuff total, like I said at the start of the video, there's a lot less filler or crap to deal with as that original Giga leak was a ton of stem sessions, which really bloated the size up to 51 gigabytes. Despite this tiny pack of leaks being only three gigabytes, we got tons of cool stuff and the new insight into tracks like Hurricane is really, really nice to see. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and let me know down in the comments which song in this small leak pack you liked the best.